Hey guys, my name is Jeremy. I just used the Jack Weston program uh, this past summer to write my MCAT. Uh, I had written the MCAT a couple times before. One, uh, I spent two summers uh, writing MCATs. Uh, the first summer, I'm not gonna, I was not prepared uh, maturity-wise. I wasn't, re I didn't really prepare well, and I got a very terrible score. So, um, first word of advice: make sure you're ready to write the MCAT when you're when it's your test day. Um, otherwise, it kind of messes up your chances and at getting into certain schools. Cause certain ones only look at your first one. Um, and just make sure you really want to write the MCAT and know you're ready for the MCAT at that point. But if you are like me, if you found your way here um, to Jack Weston um, after a summer of trying or a long period of trying to improve your car score, um, using numerous resources, uh, many companies, I used them all, I used all the companies, uh, and nothing really seemed to work, um, nothing, really, nothing really improved my car score. Um, so I was kind of in desperation mode. I went to, uh, I was looking online, maybe like some of you are, and I found Jack and this course. And uh, I took the course about a month before my MCAT, my actual MCAT. And I took the intensive uh, course. So I took the one where you had uh, two sessions per week of instruction, and then you had uh, your tutorials. Uh, alongside that. So that was a lot. It was intensive, the name is right, um, but I think it really helped and it was really, I did well with it because I was able to keep up and I mean Jack will help you keep up. Jack will make sure um, you're ready when you need to be. Um, so uh, I've said, I've mentioned I wrote the MCAT for the past two summers. Um, the first the first time I wrote it, I did awful. The second summer I did okay. Um, and then this one, this final one, I improved four points um, thanks to using Jack's um, help. So I got a 512 on this last MCAT, so I was pretty impressed um, with myself, and I'm pretty impressed with my chances um, because last year I got an interview, and to start all over again after not getting that, knowing that it was my MCAT score, um, specifically the car score, that didn't let me in last year, uh, that really sucked, and it's like you're you just you're so close to finishing a race, and you are right at the finish line, and then someone tells you you have to literally start all over again. So I was pretty bummed out, um, but needless to say, I had a great support system, and I also had um, great instruction and great help, and words of advice, words of wisdom from Jack that I had never heard of before, uh, that I had never been exposed to before. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what the program is like. Um, so like I said, I took the intensive program. Uh, for those of you who are interested in that program, it was you meet Jack, you have class twice a week, and again, he does give you homework. He gives you um, some tutorial lessons, which you can go, they're optional. You can go to them. I went to them. They were very helpful. Um, sometimes they were, I had to work, so sometimes they were really convenient to go to, but you don't miss anything if you don't go to them. Um, they just give you another chance to really solidify what you just learned in that class that week. Um, so Jack kind of tells you, I mean, if you go to his uh, first session, he kind of lays out what's going to happen, uh, how he's going to teach it. And the one thing I really did appreciate about Jack was he was very honest with you. Uh, he didn't sugarcoat anything, and like a good physician, you know, you don't want to sugarcoat things, you don't want to give people false hope, Jack didn't. Um, if there was a point in time where you were struggling, when you were reading, um, and it's or you didn't follow the method that we had talked about in class, Jack straight up told you, and it was amazing because you really, it's not like a school where the teachers have to be nice to you, like you're paying Jack because you want results. Jack gives you those results. Um, so if you're not going to follow his plan, if you're not going to follow his rules, it's hard. I'm going to say, I'm not going to lie, it's, you want to honestly say, well, I get the gist of what he's saying, but I'm going to still use my own strategy. Here's the thing, your strategy, if you're like me, got you to where you were. So if you want to improve from where you are, you need to follow his instructions. You need to trust in the process. You're going to hear, hear that a lot in this. You've got to trust in the process, trust in this. Um... It's kind of funny, but it actually, yeah, it, it works. Like, you don't believe it, but it works. Um, 
And the other thing Jack says is, yeah, you practice, make mistakes. That's honestly, like, I made a lot of mistakes practicing, um, but I learned from the mistakes. You go back and you he teaches you how to learn from your mistakes. So I learned from my mistakes that way. And it was great because in reality, you only have to be good once, and that's on your test day. Um, but you do get, you do feel comfortable. You will feel ready um, leading up to the exam. So that is, it's good. It's a good confidence booster. And when writing the MCAT, you want a lot of confidence. Um, so the thing is, when my course ended, uh, it was nice because I could, I thought I had all this free time now. I can go do uh, my other subjects and things. But really, you think that, okay, well, that's nice. I can do this now. I have all this free time to study other things. But what about my cars? What am I going to do with cars? Uh, the nice thing about the Jack Weston course is he keeps you in the loop. So if you finish your course, you're still you're called an alumni, and you get to go to his alumni sessions, and you get to practice. I know for me, you don't really learn anything at those. That's kind of a bad way to say it. You don't learn new things, but you can maybe learn something that you maybe like. I know I was having a trouble reading. I kept reading things wrong. Um, spent too much time on the details. Jack will tell you more about how to read properly. Um, but I didn't really pick up on that and fine tune that until I was in those alumni sessions. Um, so again, though, Jack's never really leaves your side. And so he's with you there. He's with you and helps you through the entire process. Um, speaking of the entire process, you know, the MCAT is four sections and I found to be honest, Jack, his words of advice, his words of wisdom, um, his strategies for how to tackle the rest of the course. You learn that in the last couple of lessons with him. He teaches you how to look and how to think about the question, what the MCAT's really trying to make you understand and what, what it's trying to test in your uh, abilities. Well, that really came in handy for me. Um, like I said, I'm no stranger to the MCAT. I've written it a couple times. Uh, the last, the first half I found for mine per my personal exam was pretty good. The second half was I had no idea. It was brutal. I had no idea what was going on, but I know that certain things that Jack tells you, they keep resonating in your head. They, um, uh, and they keep, they help me persevere and keep going through that section when I knew it was really hard. And I know that I was in the same boat as everybody else here. Uh, the girl beside me actually got up and left. She voided her exam because, um, it was just some of the, you would have no idea what you were answering. Um, because it was, and you could be a hundred percent prepared, but you just never were, would, would have seen these and never would have prepared for anything like the questions that I got there. Um, so Jack's wisdom and his advice about the MCAT in general is also very beneficial. And that's one of the biggest things I took away from that is because again, my car score didn't just improve, but my other scores all improved. Uh, so I guess that's the Jack Weston course. Like I took it, it's, you know, I had it done in a month, but I kept going to those uh, alumni sessions, which helped a lot. Um, the thing is when you're on your last session, Jack will tell you, Hey, keep in touch. Let me know how things go. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, he doesn't just want video testimonials. He wants to actually keep helping you guys out. For example, just this past weekend, uh, me and Jack, uh, we connected over Skype and he was giving me pointers on how to do and how to prepare for the interview a little bit better, how to, what things I should be looking for. Um, so Jack is with you through this entire process. And so from when you are planning on writing your MCAT, he'll, you know, he'll tell you whether you're ready or not, whether, you, whether the reading style you have is right or not. He'll help you structure your strategy for preparing for the MCAT. He will help you um, to get where you need to be. Um, he'll also then help you after that, after your course, after his course is done, he'll help you till your till the very day of your MCAT. If you really want to go um, to an alumni session right before your MCAT, like that's you can do that. Um, and then he's there for you through the entire interview prep. So I'm planning on getting into uh, planning on getting into medical school this year. And one of the very first people I would tell will be Jack because he has been instrumental in helping me um, achieve my goals and uh, pursue this dream. So thank you, Jack. Um, to all of you who are looking at this or watching this video, good luck. Um, it's it's kind of a fun time in your life, studying for the MCAT. It's, I know you're not gonna really say it's fun, it's really not. But looking back on it, it is fun. Um, enjoy it um, and I wish you all the best. And in parting, closing, trust the process. 
and good luck.